Hello, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast this evening. Uh, I am Pastor Steve Green, and this is Breton Word of Faith Church. This is our first refresh uh, session this week. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, and we're talking about not setting our mind on high things. And we read this verse in church. We read this verse from <clears throat> the Amplified Version. And the portion of the verse that we focused on was this, uh, do not be haughty, uh, and then in brackets, snobbish, high-minded, or exclusive, but readily adjust yourself to people, comma, things. So we're talking about not being haughty. Um, in, the, in the New King James, it says, do not set your mind on high things, do not be haughty. And then three particular words, which we'll get to that help describe what haughty means. And those words have helped me a lot, just uh, because haughty was not a word that I identified really. I mean, of course, I, I know generally what it means, but I didn't identify with it really well. So before we uh, get into more depth on this verse, there's three things that we mentioned in Sunday, and I think these are important. Number one, if we're talking about being a snob, there's probably probably very few people that are either completely a snob or completely not a snob. And so we're talking about by degrees. A person might have one or two snobbish or slightly snobbish characteristics. Um, if we polarize it, uh, meaning that a person is either completely snobbish or not at all, and then all, all I have to do then is um, identify that I am not a complete, absolute uh, snob, I was just about said slob, um, then, uh, then clearly uh, that would mean I'm not a snob at all. And I think that's a way of um, distorting the issue a little bit. So we want to understand that it can be by degrees. Number two, it would be difficult for anyone with a snobbish characteristic or two to uh, be self-aware about it. That would be opposite to being a snob. So um, it would be hard for us to identify the characteristic in ourselves. And so with any difficult issue, this is the third point, the only way that we can truly know our heart on difficult issues, not on easy ones, but on those that are tougher for us, uh, would be to camp outside the door of our heart and just to watch what comes out and not go by what we think, what we feel, what we think we ought to have, but rather just to have a uh, an honest look at what's coming out of our heart. To illustrate that, we used uh, the example of the pastor with divorce in his heart. We also used uh, the illustration of uh, uh, building with people with red hats. <laughs> um, so, so for me, the highlight or the climax of the message was getting to the point where after describing my schooling, I made the case that I was not a snob, capital letters, I was not a snob. Uh, I was not sitting in some country manor wearing a dinner jacket, enjoying some expensive after dinner drink that was brought by the servants, using a cigarette holder, holding my nose in the air, discussing my membership in the most elite and pompous club. So, uh, very clearly, I was not a snob, and this was the point that I was making in the message. I was referring to those days as a student, uh, and, and those around me, unshaven, maybe uncombed, wearing unlaced construction boots, jeans, and our jackets, and as down to earth as it gets. And, and I dramatically portrayed that as if from the bottom of my heart, uh, anybody could see that I am not snobbish or high-minded or exclusive when in fact everybody in the church knew that I was. <laughs> and, and so um, that's the issue. Uh, it, it can be one where it's hard to be self-aware, as we said earlier, and we need to be honest with ourselves and look at the evidence. Uh, and it's highly to our advantage that we do that. We'll pick up again tomorrow.